length that we're calculating is this length right here. That's the length of that center octagon that makes the shape of our diamond. multiply 15 carats by the ratio 0.2 grams to 1 carat. Notice the carats in the numerator cancel the carats in the denominator. Then we're going to multiply by the density of diamond and diamond has a density of 3.52 grams per 1 cubic centimeter. So notice the grams in the numerator here cancel the grams in the denominator here, and I'm left with only the unit cubic centimeters. 15 times 0.2 is 3, and so I end up with 3 divided by 3.52, and again my unit is now cubic centimeters. But why don't we clean that up a little bit into an exact fraction, and that exact fraction will end up being 75 88 cubic centimeters. So it's a slightly cleaner number. Your diamond needs to have a volume of 75 88 cubic centimeters. The formula for the volume of the type of diamond that we want to cut is equal to 13 times the square root of 3 divided by 36 times a cubed, where a is the length that we're trying to cut. We're trying to cut a length of whatever a is, and that's what we're trying to solve. That then needs to be multiplied by tangent of 67.5 degrees squared. So the, the specific cut that we're trying to make has a volume equal to this equation. We want our diamond to have a volume of 75 88 and so we want to set our desired volume equal to our formula and then we can get busy trying to solve for A. First of all, we have our variable being multiplied by 13 times the square root of 3 over 36. So if I multiply both sides of my equation by the reciprocal of that, I will end up canceling out that value on the side of the equation that has the variable. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do the same thing to the other side. So this other side also has to get multiplied by the reciprocal of 13 times the square root of 3 over 36. 75 times 36 is 2700 and 88 times 13 is 1144 and then we still have the square root of 3. Okay, so we finished that first step. Now we are still trying to get A by itself, and A is also being multiplied by the tangent of 67.5 degrees squared. So I want to unmultiply or do the opposite of multiplying. I want to divide by that value. So dividing, again, is multiplying by the reciprocal. So after that step, we now have a cubed all by itself, and to cancel a power of 3, we're going to take the cube root. And that is the exact length that a needs to be. A needs to be exactly equal to the cube root of this fairly messy um, value. By the way, that is approximately 0.616 centimeters. 
So when we cut our diamond, we approximately need it to be 0.616 centimeters. But this is the exact value that it needs to be. So on the low end, being off by a carat would mean that our carat would really be 14.9 carats and not 15 carats. So we're going to convert the 14.9 also into cubic centimeters, because remember we need centimeters as our final length. So just like we converted the 15, we're going to multiply 14.9 by 0.2 grams over one carat and then we're going to multiply by the ratio of 3.52 grams per cubic centimeter. Notice the carats divide each other out, the grams divide each other out, we're left with cubic centimeters and that reduces down to the exact fraction of 149 over 176 cubic centimeters. So that's the low end of our volume. If the carat is a little bit too big, it could be 15.1 carats and still be close enough. So same process, we're going to multiply by 0.2 grams over one carat and the carat units cancel out and then we're going to multiply by one cubic centimeter per 3.52 grams which again is the density of diamond and the grams in the numerator cancel the grams in the denominator that ends up reducing down to the exact fraction of 151 over 176 cubic centimeters so now we have our lower and upper bound of volumes. All right, so now finding the low bound for our side length, we're going to take our volume on the low end of 149 over 176 cubic centimeters and we are going to set it equal to the volume for the shape of our diamond which is 13 times the square root of 3 over 36 times a cubed times tangent of 67.5 degrees squared. We're solving for a so we're going to undo all the arithmetic. We will start by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of 13 times the square root of 3 over 36. So on this side, we end up getting you know this other number, but what we accomplished on this side is that we canceled out the multiplying by 13 times the square root of 3 over 36. We're getting closer to having A all by itself. A cubed is still being multiplied, but by tangent of 67.5 degrees squared. So divide both sides of the equation by that value. And we end up with A cubed all by itself. So then to get A specifically, we're going to undo the cube by taking the cube root and so the low end is going to equal the cube root of this value. Um, cleaning that up a little bit, we can rewrite the the inside of the cube root is 5,364 
over 2,288 times the square root of 3 times tangent of 67.5 squared. So the 5,364 is from 149 times 36. The 2,288 is 176 times 13. And again, the units are centimeters. So this is our low bound for the length of the side of the diamond. And by the way, that is approximately 0.6147 centimeters. So at lowest, we could cut the length to 0.6147 centimeters. So now on our upper bound, the diamond could be at most 151 over 176 cubic centimeters. So we want to set that equal to the volume of the diamond, which is that formula 13 times the square root of 3 over 36 times a cubed times tangent of 67.5 degrees squared. Solving for A, the same process applies. We're trying to cancel all the arithmetic. So step one, cancel the 13 times the square root of 3 over 36 by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal. That leaves me with this value equal, equals A cubed times tangent of 67.5 degrees squared getting a cubed by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by the tangent of 67.5 degrees squared. So that gives me 151 over 176 times 36 over 13 times the square root of 3 times 1 over tangent of 67.5 degrees squared. That leaves a cubed by itself. Then for the value of a itself, we're going to take the cube root in order to cancel the cube. And we get this expression for our upper bound of what a, the length of a could be. And by the way, that cleans up a little bit to... 5,436 over 2,288 times the square root of 3 times tangent of 67.5 degrees squared is equal to A in centimeters. So at most, we can cut the side length to this upper bound, which, by the way, is approximately 0.6174 centimeters. So if you remember what we had to cut it exactly, it was about 616 centimeters, 0.616 centimeters. So we cannot be off by very much. It's going to be very difficult to cut the diamond exactly. So the lower bound on our volume was 149 over 176 cubic centimeters. The upper bound on our volume was 151 over 176 cubic centimeters. The lower bound on the length for the side was 0.6147 centimeters. The upper bound on the length was 0.6174 centimeters, approximately. Again, these are approximate values. The actual values were the cube root of those, you know, kind of messy fractions. This means that our length can be off by no more than approximately 0.001365 centimeters. Where we obtain this difference is by finding the difference between the ideal length, so this was the original length of A that we calculated, find the difference between it and the upper bound, and take the absolute value, meaning you just want to record the magnitude, you don't care about whether it's negative or positive, 
And so that's where we we're obtaining 0 0.001365 is the amount that we can be off by. And this is so small, it's more narrow than the length of a human hair. So for our diamond to stay within a tenth of a carat, we need to cut the side length within this very, very small amount of the ideal length of 0.616 centimeters. In terms of our definition of a limit, we're trying to take the limit as A, the side length of the diamond, goes to this ideal length of cube root of 2700 over 1144 times the square root of 3 times tangent of 67.5 degrees. We're taking the limit of the volume of the diamond the exact volume to be 15 carats needs to be 75 88 cubic centimeters. So the limit is the 75 over 88 cubic centimeters. The ideal length is the cube root of 2700 over the 1144 times square root of 3 times tangent 67.5 squared. Epsilon is how much our volume can be off and it could be off by 1 over 176 cubic centimeters and delta is how much the side length can be off and it can be off by 0 0.00135 centimeters.